Biggie Penguins. This is Nico B here with another geeky unboxing video. It's uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> we haven't had one of these in uh, quite some time, actually. God, I don't, I don't even remember the last one was that we did. Definitely before I hired Cy, because this is actually gonna be the first one that he's actually uh, edited himself right now. Actually, I think it might have been the it might have been the Samus one. You know, the Samus statue that I've literally had sitting here for months before I got that shelf up. That's actually part of the reason, actually. Now that I have the shelf up that's over there, I can finally have a place to put these figures because I don't think they would actually fit over here. All the ones over on this side. And I'm excited about these, because these are some special ones. As you guys know, uh, in the last year, one of my favorite games that I played was 13 Sentinels. So when I saw that there were some new 13 Sentinels figures coming out, I was like, mm, gotta get it, man. Especially when uh, they are actually by the same exact company that did, uh, I don't know if you can see them, the Chiaki Kirgir figures are like way in the corner over there. They're actually the same size as well. They are one fourth, so they are they're big girls. They are big ass girls, damn boy. And as such, I needed some special shelving units to even be able to fit them. So, ugh. we've got a Yori and ugh, we got Natsuno. These are the, basically the only two currently figures in that line, though. Pro if there are any more they come out with, I'll probably get them. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there's a, there's a Kaide figure that's coming out for uh, the Bunny Girl one with the Chiaki and Kirigiri ones I have that I also pre-ordered. <laughs> at least I think, I think I did. If I haven't, I need to. What? Don't look at me like that, all right? Come on, I don't have a problem. It's not even the fact that they're Bunny Girls, okay? It's just that they look fucking great. <laughs> it's like they actually look really good. They're like some of the best looking Don Europa figures that I have. The Bunny stuff is just a cherry on top, okay? Stop it! Don't look at me! But yeah, so these two are actually from the exact same uh, company, Freeing. And similarly are one for scale, so they're pretty damn detailed. It's actually cute. I noticed on the box they even have, uh, they actually have at the bottom. You actually see at the very bottom they have like the Atlas seal of uh, approval there with Jack Frost, which is cute. Very cute. But yeah, I've been sitting on these for a long time and I've uh, been very excited to finally actually open them and check them out. So let's do it. Let's start with Yori first. Unfortunately, pretty simple to get open, I think. Actually, it depends how much plastic they end up putting on these things. Sometimes they, they really fucking wrap these things up. The box is actually kind of cool. Even the inside has like this, this like blue, like sci-fi, you know, the, the kind of crazy techno-y stuff they have in like the menus and 13 Sentinels. Damn, you're a big girl. She's actually wrapped up pretty goddamn good. I will free you. Ah. Oh, wait. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Here's the thing. Most of the figures that I end up getting, right, like up to this point, like the ones over there, usually like one eighth. They're literally like half the size of what, the, of what uh, these ones are. So whenever I see them, actually in my, like I actually have them in my hand, I'm like, oh my god. So I don't know how big they are until uh, we're right here. Hold on. Go ahead and get the stand on here. There we go. Behold, Iori. God damn. So it's great. Holy shit. Oh, I forgot a piece of plastic. There she is. I'll actually be honest. I actually think she looks better in person than I thought she did in the screenshots. The one thing is that I sort of noticed when I got these figures too is like, I kind of initially wasn't sure how well they managed to nail the vanillaware style because that anime style that vanillaware kind of does for a lot of its characters is very unique and I feel like kind of hard to emulate. But it actually looks way better in person than I actually expected it to. It's got kind of a softer look if that makes any sense. Yeah, you know, like the, the facial features and everything. Really cute, actually the, the details are insane too. See like the, the skirt right there? It's like, it's even got like a little crease that actually looks like pretty realistic. Yeah, goddamn, She looks really fucking good. So detailed, I actually, I think what was really actually got me is the hair. The hair is insanely detailed. Look at that, it's like holy shit. That's sort of the thing about like why I've sort of moved actually to the more larger figures like lately. I, I, I liked being able to get more detail like this. When you end up getting like the smaller ones, like the one eighth and to even less and stuff, you start to kind of lose some of those mo like those details. You have a smaller canvas to work with, right? So by having it actually be like at a higher a higher skill, you get a lot more chances to actually make it look more, even more like the character than it was in the uh, original work. But yeah, very cute. I actually like, you can see the, the uniform is actually kind of like, looks like it's almost like moving, like it's blown up a little bit or something. 
I mean, to be fair, in the in the actual game, Iori is like fan service to hell and back. Like, it feels like every two seconds she falls over and her panties are there. And she's like, oh my god, you saw my panties. Oh no, senpai. Oh jeez. But they actually, it's weird. Like, I remember looking at the screenshots of this and thinking to myself, I'm like, this, this figure looks really nice, but I don't know if it looks exactly like the Vanillaware style. It's almost like Freeing's version of it. But it actually looks more like it in person. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's even coming across to you guys. But that's sort of how it like kind of looks to me. You see that crease on the on the skirt? Isn't that cool? Yeah, very, very impressive. Because honestly, like the the figures that uh, I have, so this is from the exact same line that these ladies over here, Chiaki and uh, Kigiri, where they're from too. I mean, they're both also one fourth as well. They were much easier to fit in this case here because they were lying down. I don't know if uh, Yori and them will fit, which is why they're going to be going over to. Uh, uh, this one over here where uh, Samus is so I've got plenty of room to to fit them in I really don't actually have much to complain about this figure I mean I guess in, in it's sort of basic overall right in terms of like what you're getting I mean it's not I mean obviously not bunny girl stuff which I, I'm fine with it's not really like what I'm aiming for I mean it's not like her uh, her tight like her like skin tight adult outfit which was good lore that that one was uh hella lewd would have been super inappropriate. I would have been totally down for it. I mean, excuse me, what? But I do think this is very cute. You actually see like, for example, like the shading there on like the legs and stuff. I don't know, it's sort of hard to explain. It's something about like the, the style of vanilla where it's all very soft, right? I think they actually did a pretty damn good job of, uh, of nailing it with this figure here. Yeah, very, very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, next up we've got a one that actually, I actually think this one's gonna be a, it's a bit more interesting looking, just honestly, because it's not just like a regular like schoolgirl outfit design. And it also includes uh, another character with her, and that's uh, Natsuno, who's also carrying her little pal BJ. The robot with the most awkward name in history. I wonder if his name was BJ in the original Japanese version. Do you think maybe the Japanese just didn't know what that acronym meant <laughs> when they named him? Oh cool, it's got the same, same technoey background uh, that uh, yours have, but uh, hers is actually kind of an orangey color. That's cool. Damn, damn, they really, they really wrapped up uh, BJ here. It's like, holy shit, I can't even see him. Help me, set me free. I'm dying in here. Ah! Yeah, nothing too crazy with the stands for both of them, which I'm actually okay with. I really... I mean, extravagant stands are nice, like they can be nice, but a lot of times they just take up too much fucking room. So I'm actually okay with it just being sort of basic. I don't really care about the stand, I care about the thing that's on the stand. Oh, Aww. <laughs> Aww, look, BJ's so cute. He's wrapped up like E.T. Legs, wow. <laughs> Very cute. There we go, that one's kinda hard to get on. But behold, it's not to know and her pal BJ. Legs. Aw, look at them. They're so cute. Yeah. I think Yori's is very is very nice and very detailed as well. But I definitely like this one better. I think Natsuno's got a much more sort of interesting outfit. And just the fact that she's got her little bag here with the BJ all wrapped up in there is a is a pretty big plus. Not mention leg! Lots of leg. Yeah, something about the eyes. Something about those eyes, they do really make, give me the, yeah, this vanilla wear kind of character vibe, you know? Very cute. Again, look how detailed the hair is with her like little braids in there. And each like little wave of, uh, of her hair. And the bag too, actually. The bag is surprisingly detailed. And she got some booty on those freaking uh, PE shorts of hers. And even the sneakers, look how, look how detailed the sneakers are. Like, goddamn. <laughs> He's so cute. Even the the actual like blanket that's wrapped around him with all the wrinkles and stuff. It's like wow, wow. The the bag has actually got a little bit of a contortion to it, as it sort of like bends under his weight. There's a lot of like fucking just little minute details like that. The actual cloth itself too, like on her jacket. So cool, man. So cute. Very cute. And here's the two of them together. Looks like Natsuno might be slightly taller than Iori. 
Very cute. I do hope we see more from uh, this line. And I'll say, you know what? I wouldn't even be against having some of the guys show up, you know? I mean, I don't know how much is gonna happen because I think freeing is mostly like all about the waifus and not like dudes <laughs> generally, but I'd be down. The funny thing is that there's actually like, there's an assortment of some uh, 13 Sentinels figures, but very few of them are by the same company. Like this is like the only one that is. And the other ones are by different companies and they're like all different scale figures, which is interesting. Like some of them have the cool activation thing they use to like act to turn on their Sentinels and stuff. But they're like, like one is like one eighth, another one's like one seventh. And especially if you're trying to get something part of the same line, I feel like it's nothing more frustrating than having figures be in like random scales, right? And not actually be part of like the same one, which is why I like that these are both from the same thing. That said, can we get, please get like, can we get a Juro Karabe like future adult version? Him with his cool jacket and his gun. I'd be totally down for that. Hell, like I said, I'd be down for an Iori adult one too. Either Nurse Iori or uh freaking biker yori the big old booty but yeah that's why I generally if if there are figures that i'm like i'm interested in they're all part of like the same line i usually do try to get them if i can uh but there you have it guys the uh two ladies from 13 sentinels i do really hope like honestly i check like on like at least like once a week to see if there's any new like 13 sentinels figures i really do hope we get some more ones i'd actually love to also see like an actual like figure of like a sentinel or something it would be super sick. I think I remember seeing it like a, at like some convention somewhere. I think there was like a, there was actually like a one fourth figure or something of an actual sentinel, but it, you know, like even one fourth of the sentinel is like fucking huge. So it was like bigger than a person, but it was only at like a convention, right? Maybe not one that big, <laughs> but like one like, you know, like the size of these are maybe a little bit bigger would be pretty cool. And again, Give me a Juro Karabe. Give me a future adult Juro Karabe. I want it. Give it to me. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, another geeking but unboxing video. If you did, please do a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become a Piggy Penguin. Or this LP, where the days are always sunny, the vids are always funny, and sometimes I just can't help myself. What can I say, all right? I, I can't help myself, especially when it's things I really love. There's gonna be one more unboxing uh, before we start the next series, and that's gonna be for the All My Figures, so that'll probably come out sometime next week. So look forward to that. I think the next time we see anything from Freeing here will probably actually be when the Kaede figure, Kaede figure comes uh, out, which will uh, hopefully, I can, hopefully I can squeeze her in there between the other two over there. Hopefully I got enough room. These girls are big. Big girl. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, Piggy Penguins, till next time, guys. Stay classy.